All right, so we're trying to get our tub installed today. And I should have done this months ago. I just, for whatever reason, didn't. I kept telling myself that I didn't need to, and then my wife got in her head that I didn't need to, and so we didn't. Um, so now we're finally getting into it, and unfortunately it means we're gonna have to cut a hole in the downstairs finished ceiling to hook up the key trap. <clears throat> but basically, I've just pulled the tub back out of the alcove where it's gonna go, and I've marked a hole where the drain is. Now I'm gonna cut out a much larger hole than that just so I have good room to work. But I just wanted to mark where the drain was gonna be just so I knew for sure where it had to go. This vent pipe has to be moved over and this stud has to be notched because I've got to actually take this half inch PEX line and kind of swing it out and around to be able to come in the side. The mixing valve is gonna mount, you know, right in front of the drain. So it's gonna be like right, I think it's gonna be right there on the edge of the stud which will work good. It'll sit right in the, on the back of that stud and everything will be just about perfect. Um, but I have no way to run my water line. So I've got to move this pipe and notch that stud and then get the floor cut and then we'll see how it all sets in. Well, I hate to repeat work, but it's done. So you can see I've got a hole. You're looking upstairs. I had to cut a hole in the subfloor upstairs. I had to cut a hole in the ceiling down here. Uh, with the goal being, that little tie in right there is where my tub drain has to hook in. Um, so now I'm going to go back upstairs, I'm going to slide the tub, I'm going to get the tub drain installed and then slide the tub into place and see how everything lines up down here. Okay, so I put together this kit, this drain kit, and you can see looking at it, the thing is not square at all. This is a 90 degree T, but this factory it has this molded bend to try to offset the tub slope, but this is more than my tub slope, so this is sticking out at an angle. I tried to dry fit the tub in place and it won't fit. So I'm going to have to get some sort of flex coupling adapter to go here to turn this in straight so that then I've got a good, and it's real short, it barely made a connection there. I just did it to rough it in, um, or to, to dry fit it. So I need to get that flex coupler will give me the extension I need and it'll push it back in here and then I'll have my 90 degree. Um, so we'll get all that buttoned up tight. And now I'm just working on finishing out this vent stack. You can see I had to cut it and just took some 45s and pushed it back a little further into the wall, cut this stud. And so now you can see, oh my mixing valve's not here, but the mixing valve's gonna sit right here. So this half inch water line will swing it over and then come back into the side. So I've got space to do everything. So I'll keep putting it together and do little updates as we go, but we're gonna have to go to the store and get all that crap, which annoys me. So there we got our pipe moved and I just left about a three quarter inch short so I was able to have plenty of room to put the pipes back in. Glued everything except for this one overlap. So um, put the sleeve on and slid it all the way down over one piece of pipe. Then glued them in place and then slid it back up over the joint and got all torqued in tight. It's a vent pipe. So I'm really not worried about it anyway. I'm not worried about any liquid ever. Um, but that was a lot easier than trying to wedge and finagle it in there and make space. So probably actually could have because going down to the floor, this pipe actually has some has some play in it, so I probably could have done it, but that saved me a whole lot of headache. Um, got the tub just set in here again to look at it, and got my mixing valve put on. Um, so now I can go ahead and run my plumbing up for the shower head, and run it down for the tub fill spigot somewhere in here. But we're going to make a run town a little bit for supplies, just to give you a little update.